Moves for the Rangers today. Depth defenseman Nemeth and Tenorti signed. Dryden Hunt, four years in the league so far. Played 26 games with Arizona this past season. Signed to a two-year deal. Greg McKegg, who was with the team two years ago, signed a one-year deal. Sammy Blay, Barkley Goudreau, of course, acquired before today. And the RFAs, unsigned to this point, Shesterkin, Heedle, and Libor Hayek. We continue here from our Delta MSG studios. Great to have you with us. Bill Pito, along with Steve Alcat. Chris Drury, first offseason as the Rangers president and general man manager, obviously prioritizing depth and size over glitz. Uh, Sammy Blaze and Barkley Goudreau are guys that play a heavier game down low. Uh, Sammy Blaze, for instance, he will hit you and the building will go nuts. He's an energy guy. But one of the things that really pointed out and was significant during the season was the last three games against the New York Islanders, the Rangers were only able to generate 10 grade-A scoring chances in those three games for one goal. And there wasn't enough net front presence, there wasn't enough consistent approach of recovering the puck and having long extended zone time. And I think when you look at the season as a whole offensively, the Rangers were 19th in offensive zone time. So that's something where we don't want to be one and done, we want to be harder and longer down there so we can wear them out so we don't have to defend as much. And these moves and these players point to that direction that Chris Drury wants to take with his team. All right, Nemeth gets signed. He's an eight-year pro. He's 28 years old. He's 6'3" has played with Detroit, Colorado, and Dallas. Yep. Where does he fit, you think, in the Rangers line? Uh, third defensive pair on the left side, and it's going to be neat because he'll be able to mount mentor Nils Lundqvist, which is going to be his first year over here, expected to make the team as well. But again, the interesting thing for me with the signing is a big body. You're getting 6'3 defensemen and uh, 220 pounds that can play hard. Now, he's simple and effective. He's got an average first pass, but he's still very smart. He takes away offensive options with good positioning and a good stick. He's not overly hard, but he's strong in battles. He's good along the walls. He boxes out well net front. And the best compliment I got from somebody was that goalies love him. And you don't hear that all the time from goaltenders because you we're don't hard like any D. You like no, but goalies love him. And that's nice because the thing about the Rangers is last year they were 27th at scoring chances against. And what happened last year and the year before last and the year before that was that the Stanley Cup Finals, they were occupied by top five defensive teams. And even when you get to the Conference Finals, the Final Four is always the top five defensive teams that have allowed the fewest chances against. The Rangers have to be better there. So you change your coach, you change a lot, and that includes a lot of the players that have to be a little bit bigger. And the team is going to defend better. All right, so Nemeth is 6'3". Jared Tenorti is 6'6". Six, six. Yep. Son of the one-time Ranger Mark Tenorti, who began his long career with the Rangers in the late 1980s. Jared Tenorti has never played more than 28 games. He's been in the league six years. Yep. What does he bring? Uh, leadership. Now, when I saw the signing, instantaneously I thought of one of my favorite Rangers of all time, Jason Strudwick. You know, he was here when he mentored Mark Stahl, Dan Girardi. Tenorti's been a captain at every level. Uh, that includes the United States Development Program, that includes London in the OHL, and that includes the Milwaukee Admirals in the AHL. He's a leader. He's somebody that's going to work hard. He's going to work smart. He's high, high character. Uh, he's the same draft year, actually, as Dylan McElrath. The, the, the Rangers took Dylan McElrath 10th uh, overall in 2010. He was a 22 overall pick. He was a first rounder himself. He just hasn't found his way as a regular, but it doesn't mean that you don't, you need depth. Right? You need depth and you need size and strength, and he's going to bring that for the Rangers. Be advised, Tenorti has mixed it up with Tom Wilson That's in right. years past. Rangers caps October 13th right here on the MSG Network. If it's not on the national <laughs> network, we'll know as time goes on. But keep in mind, Tenorti and Wilson. Okay, uh, we have Shesterkin, one of the RFAs. Yep. When you talk about Adam Fox, elite on D. Mm -hmm. Panarin, elite up front with Zibanejad. It, where does Shesterkin fit in all this? So he's just outside the top five right now in the NHL. Last year in save percentage, sixth. And he's right in that conversation with Hellebuck, Fleury, and Vasilevsky, three of the previous Vesna Trophy winners. He's just below that pairing. He's a star. He's going to be a star. And I think that the Rangers are going to have to move quickly and, and hopefully swiftly and maybe even sneak a long-term contract that'll lower do dollar amount that would make everybody happy in New York and I bet on him when you look at his play on breakaways 
He had 38 last year, only allowed five goals. That was first in the NHL. You see him scramble and fight really hard on rebounds. He also ranked first there. Most importantly is consistency from your goaltender. And he gave up the fewest bad goals, the fewest low danger goals. He only gave up seven all year, over 511 shots. So you know, I'm looking at his game overall, Billy, and I'm very, very optimistic about his future. But at the same time, maybe the Rangers can sneak in and go long on him because it's a safe bet. You know, he's done it at every single level, and he did it at the American Hockey League before he came to the NHL, and he was seamless in transitioning two years ago. He was excellent again last year. When you say go long, you mean extend him. Oh, yeah, extend, extend him. him long Chris, go term. as long as you can. Yeah.